Thanks for checking out my Pixels.ai review where I'm going to be showing you how to create viral thumbnails and titles in seconds. If you would like to try them for free, you can click the link down below in the description of the pinned comment and even follow along with me. Let's begin right away. So right off the bat, Pixels is very clean and overall easy to use and navigate. All of the main stuff is going to be in the middle. We have prompts for creating thumbnails based upon what you write. We can recreate, which is going to be fantastic. A lot of face swapping there. You can make edits on thumbnails and even create titles if needed. Before we get to that, I do want to highlight the personas feature because it's very important in my opinion. What it allows you to do is upload pictures of yourself so that you can use your face or someone else's in any of the thumbnails. I already have one right here, but if you wanted to create it, it's going to walk you through what you need to do very quickly. Like only one clearly visible person in it. Make sure you're not wearing sunglasses. You can look in different directions if needed and simply just upload them right there and generate. I believe it's going to be 200 credits, which Pixels does operate on a credit system, something to keep in mind. Okay. I already have mine, so we're going to be good to go there. What we want to do is now type in a prompt when it comes to creating a thumbnail. Now I already have one, so I'm going to paste it in. So give me one moment. All right, so we have a bold eye-catching YouTube thumbnail about online marketing, so on and so forth. Now, if you're not great at writing prompts, which I can totally understand, in the past I used to go to Fiverr and I'd have so much trouble trying to describe what I wanted. What's great about this is that they have the enhanced prompt. So usually mine are gonna be a lot worse than this, but if it does come down to that, you can click on this right here and give it a few seconds. And overall, it's gonna make it sound better, maybe add a little bit more, take a little bit less out. And you're gonna notice that it did change ever so slightly, but that's a great way to help get your ideas on paper, so to speak. Ideally, you just wanna type down the best to your ability and then go from there, enhance it, and then generate. Speaking of generate, when it comes to creating any thumbnail, it's gonna be 10 credits, so let's click right here. All right, and it's gonna be going, so I'm gonna give it some time. When it is done, I will get back to you as it climbs up, and when we are finished, we will see the final product here. All right, so that's an example of a thumbnail there. In my opinion, this one's all right. It did give us exactly what we want, but we probably could have been a little bit more specific. Nevertheless, once you're done with your thumbnail, there's gonna be some more options. You can download it right here. You can do redo, which is gonna be another 10 credits, and you can go to edit as well. Let's check that out. So edit is pretty straightforward. Ideally, what you can do is highlight anything you wanna change like this and simply type in move the or remove online completely, something like that. If there's gonna be a money sign that maybe was like too far over, you can highlight that and do remove. You can also just add, move things around. There's been times where say like the text went over the face. You do wanna say like move online to the right a little bit more. You can do things like that and then you can regenerate it to make it look a little bit better. Speaking of regeneration, I want to go to the face recreation because I think that's one of the coolest features of this. So let's go over there. Let's go back. Let's do new chat. And here I want to click on recreate. All right, so what you can do here is link straight to a YouTube video. You can upload it. I'm going to upload a file very quickly so you can see it. All right, and I searched for iPhone review, and this is just going to be a video of someone holding the iPhone Air, I guess. I'm not even, I use an iPhone. I don't keep up to date with it. I have like the oldest version possible. I'm not an iPhone dude, even though I have one, uh, if you know what I mean. But nevertheless, what we can do here is go to Persona. I'm going to click on Personas. I'm going to do Marketing Island, and this is going to allow us to do a face swap. So what we can do here is, you know, uh, face swap, keep everything else. And let's generate. So let's click on generate here. And this one is probably going to be a little bit quicker since there's not as much to do. But once again, uh, I'll get back to you when it's done. All right. And would you look at that? How awesome is that? So ideally, we have pretty much the same thumbnail. We even have the air there. And that's going to be my face replacing and everything else is going to be different. Yeah, it does have a little bit of like a kind of a waxy look to it, but I think that's just phenomenal either way. And let me actually show you how the edit can work when it comes to the specifics of removing things. Before I get to that, let's actually do the compare. I like this feature. So this is going to be the before there. And the head is tilted, which is fine. This one's going to be straight up. I don't think I had any head tilts, so that's probably why it's doing that. So a little bit different, you know, a few things. Actually, if you're going to be doing the air phone, that one looks like it's different. So might be something to keep in mind. Uh, let's see. Let's go back there. Air and air. So there's before and after. Now what I can do is actually show you like the edit here. So if I want to remove air, let me show you. Let's do remove air, keep everything 
files. Let me do remove error text to be more specific and generate. And this one's gonna be a little bit quicker as well because it doesn't have as much to do. All right, and just like that, we remove the error. See, pretty easy to do. So I think it really depends on what you're looking to do with your thumbnails. In the previous one, we did a prompt where it was kind of like, give us almost anything. But with the recreation, like it is fantastic when you can put your face on it, swap it around. And of course, you are going to want to make some changes because you don't want to blatantly copy other people. And that's something to keep in mind when doing this. It is almost so powerful that you want to make sure you use it for good because as you can see, it's very easy to face swap from a different thumbnail and get some really good results. Now I do want to talk about the titles very quickly. Uh, let me just go through and talk about make a title for the newest iPhone review, something like that. Let's do generate right here. This is only going to be three credits because clearly it's not as big of a job compared to creating thumbnails, right? And here are just some examples. We get three right here. iPhone 16 Pro, brutal honest review after 30 days, Apple's biggest mistake yet, and seven reason it's your upgrade. So overall, not too bad. If you do need help with those, they're gonna be there for you to use. But ideally, like this is gonna be like the biggest part of Pexels. This is just like a little bit extra if you wanna use it. So your mileage may vary. For me personally, I'm just more about like Pexels.ai review. And then a little bit more after, I'm not going for like the whole clickbait thing and viral, but. But like I said, your mileage may vary depending on the video topics you're doing and your niche overall. So here's a summed up Pixels.ai review. At the end of the day, Pixels brings a lot to the table. The personas feature alone makes it feel like you've got a personal stunt double for your thumbnails, while prompts and that enhanced prompt option can spark ideas you didn't even know you had. Add in the recreate option and quick edits and you've got a tool that's not only flexible but also fun to use, just, you know, don't go full copycat mode. Sure, not every thumbnail is going to be jaw-dropping on the first spin, but that's AI for you. Garbage in, garbage out. Feed it something solid, and it usually pays you back with gold. And personally, I won't lean much on the title feature. Keywords are my thing, but depending on your niche, you might get plenty of mileage out of it. Bottom line, Pixels gives you a way to whip up high-quality thumbnails fast without dropping cash on Fiverr gigs or building a whole design team. And honestly, that's a win. If you want to see what kind of thumbnails you can crank out for your channel, be sure to click the link in the description of the pinned comment to try Pixels for free right now. I'll be using it myself to test and compare against my island branding, so we'll see which ones sail the furthest. My name is James, thank you so much for watching, and enjoy.